This is Brent with Silvertip Fly Company. Today we're going to tie a Stonefly Nymph a pattern with Silvertip Fly Company Nymph bodies. So we're going to start out with a size 6 5XL hook, bead head, black um, goose quill, Silvertip Fly Company sinking to neutral buoyancy foam, copper wire, black or peacock dubbing and silver tip fly company nymph bodies so the first thing that I will do is just cut a couple pieces of that sinking to neutral buoyancy foam <clears throat> then what I'll do is I'll quickly tie in some copper wire, let it hang, and what I'll do is I'll take the foam and if you've seen my previous videos, uh, what I do is I just take this foam here and I, it's got a sticky back so you got to take that off. Uh, and also in previous videos what I've actually done is um, tied on the top and the bottom and with lots of practice I've learned it's just easier to pinch it together just like that and as you tie it goes from around or a squarish um, configuration to a tubular so it really gives some depth next thing is is that I have a long and I have a short piece I'll start with the um, I'll start with the short piece and I'll tie the short piece in just like that. This is going to give the fly some real depth and structure. And then the next piece, which was the longer piece, is that I, I'm just going to trim that up a little bit, is that what I'll do is I will wrap it around just like that give it a real hump there then I'll quickly zip to the back get one of the stone fly nymph bodies they're pre-cut just peel it off put it on there tie it on there really good next thing is I'm gonna put some dubbing on twist the dubbing in nice and tight. The first part of this uh, what we want to do is make sure it's tied so that the tail section is all tied in properly. And as you can see it's there real nice. So the next thing that I do is just give that a little bit of a tug I take the copper wire and just do a nice even pattern, gives it some weight, some segmentation, some shine that really attracts the fish. So just tie right up to the back of the tail, take your black tying line, tie off, take the uh, your scissors, clip off the copper wire, move up for the legs. The legs you can use all kinds of different ones. What I do with the uh, legs is actually tie it loosely first so that I can adjust the legs to whichever um, side I want or height I want is the appropriate term and then once I have it where I want to just give it a 
nice tug. Next thing is, is that I want to, like in previous videos, I've actually done two-tone uh, stone flies. So the back half or the tail section is a brown tan color and the front half is this peacock or black color. Uh, this one here <coughs> is a full black uh, stone fly. Uh, this one I actually, uh, my brother-in-law Justin tied and I was very impressed on how it turned out. So I thought I'd do a quick video and showcase this one also. Um, just have to put a little bit more dubbing on here just obviously to cover up that sinking foam. And <clears throat> in previous um, videos, I've actually, uh, you can do whichever you want, but I've actually tied between each segment of the stone fly body. On this one, uh, how I learned to tie this one is that you skip a couple segments there. I don't want to get the leg in the way. So you skip it so that you end up this whole carapace here. Then what I do is I just pull back, move behind the bead head, go to the next section, tie into that. And then finally what I do is I move up right to the eye of the hook. And I just pinch that product down. and then just tie it right off there. Um, a lot of people, they'll also like, uh, they, they like to put in a double goose quill off the uh, front too. So just a half hitch, then you're finished. Finish half hitch there and then cut and glue. And you're done. Obviously, just take that tab, cut that off, and there is Silver Tip Fly Company. Different variation stone fly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day.